Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and welcome to a Game Maker tutorial. Uh, in this video we will be um, probably definitely getting on and doing our placing of a block, uh, of a block. and um, then we will uh, probably start, maybe finish even, our tools. So we can um, just jump right into this in our player and uh, this time instead of having a global left button uh, it's going to be a global right pressed global right pressed okay so this is just when you press down we're going to add a block okay so place the block like that okay so again we're going to set our um, gx and gy variables so mx to gx oh I've forgotten script <laughs> script mx to gx mouse x var gy equals script gy to wrong way around <laughs> Okay, and then we're gonna put mouse y. Okay, so that's our uh, variable set, and now we're going to um, do something quite clever here. So, if not a position meeting with our mouse x, mouse y, and our object player. So basically, what this is checking is to see, well, you know are we trying to place a block where our player is because then we'd glitch in it and it'd all go terribly wrong okay so if we're not actually touching it we can just go straight in and just destroy it we, well place it even we can just place it placing's really easy actually um you know i've developed this to have like slots inventory slots and stuff where you can have like different you can scroll along and um place different blocks as you're scrolling along. Um, so really, right, okay. Uh, what we're doing here is just making a variable called place block. Um, we're going to qu quickly go make that. So let's do placement place block equals bk block dirt. And what this is going to do it means we can just go in and change this whenever we want. You know, if you're using inventory stuff, you can change this variable really easily. And uh, it will just change it automatically. So um, then we're just going to add the tile, tile add, and uh, place block. And it's going to be um, 0, 0 because that's the default. And then we're going to do cell width for a width, cell height for a height, and um, GX times. So width for our x, and then gy times cell height for our y, and then a depth of zero. Okay, so now we should be able to actually go in and test this and see that our um, placement's working, and then we can go on and do some um, uh, tools and stuff. Um, which are actually quite cool because you can definitely incorporate it. Um, so yeah, let's let's give this a go. So there we go. We can actually see we are placing blocks here. We can go along and destroy them if we want to. Which takes a bit of time. We can actually, you know, interact with them still. Still are working. I'll just check the um, glitch that uh, we did have. Yeah, it's all gone and everything. Um, so yeah. Also, what I wanted to say, guys, is I'm really going to leave this um, tutorial pretty basic. So, I'm going to be going into all the stuff that I said at the start. I'm not going to break any of those promises. But, um, I'm not going to be going into complicated stuff, really. And the point is, I'm trying to make a base of a game here. So, it's not a full game, you know. It's, well, it is a full game, but it's got no, like, ideas into it. And the idea is... You know, I'm going to leave it totally up to you, what you do with it. You know, you could add inventory stuff, you can add fall damage, you can add health, you can add whatever you want. Um, and that's what's cool about this. That's why I try to do my tutorials. So, now what we're going to do is, um, 
make our tools or our speedy mining as um called it. So we're gonna make our uh actually we're gonna go into our current step event because we've already got one and just drag a bit a different bit of code over. And this one's gonna be called Fast Mine. Which can also be called tools, you know, whatever. So if fast mine it's just gonna be our variable to see whether we are um, in the fast mining state. And then we can do else. We've not got anything in it yet, but we can just put it in for later. And um, what we're going to do is m speed equals max m speed. So we're going to set our new mining speed to our uh, maximum or our slowest speed divided by 5. You know, you can change it to whatever variable you want, depending on how fast you want to mine. But uh, just for developing purposes, you know, I like to have it quite fast. Otherwise, if we're not in this state of max, well, if we're not in this state of speedy mining, we're going to change it to um, normal speed. Okay, we need to now quickly go in and um, make a new bit for uh, fast mine. Mine. Fast mine equals false. So we're going to, at the start, we're going to set it to false. Now we're going to make another one, which can be whatever key you want. I'm just going to use shift because it's quite easy to um, click. And this is just going to toggle between our fast mine and our non fast mine. So activate our speedy mining. So this is just going to be really easy if not fast mine. Fast mine equals true, and um, else, you know, if it's not false, fast mine equals false. So really simple there, guys. You know that is all there is to it, and that's the thing I love about this. You can add as much stuff as you want, but it does. It's not that hard. It's not going to take you days to do. Um, and that's why it's a really interesting genre. But um, it's just, it's a shame that not many people uh, do tutorials on it, which is why I decided to do this one. So now, if we uh, press Shift, we should see a drastic improvement in our mining. You know, you can see we're going a lot faster now. If we press Shift again, we're back to this boring snail pace. Yeah. You can also see that if we like drag it around, you know, nothing happens. We have to actually stay on the block all the time, and we can fill that back in. So yeah, there we have it, um, a pretty solid base already. Um, in the next video, we'll be going into lighting. Um, so, you know, we're going to be going some pretty basic lighting. It's not going to be, you know, the shaders or anything. It's just going to be pretty basic circle around you. Which you can easily develop into, like, lighting, depending on the day. You know, um, later on, we're going to be doing some crafting. Um, which isn't, I'm not going to go into massive depth, I'm just going to tell you how you could do it, because we've not got an inventory or anything to actually do it. But I might do um, a bit on that, explaining, well, I'll probably do a video just explaining how to do that, to be honest. And then finally we're going to be doing, you know, how you can uh, add more blocks, and uh, finally, you know, how we can develop this game into something pretty awesome. So I'm going to be showing you some ideas for that. So uh, look out for those videos, they'll be coming up quite shortly, I'm guessing. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, uh, leave a like, you know, share it with your friends, subscribe, send me a, a lovely comment saying how amazing I am. I really like them. Pity I don't get any. <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, um, comments are, I really like them. It's really good feedback, negative or positive. Um, it's feedback. Yeah. So yes, um, I will talk to you later.